Hi, this is Michael Zugo with Remax Premier. I appreciate you tuning in to watch this short message where during this video, I'll talk about the three reasons why a property does not sell. Now, reason number one is the price. As you know, price is the number one marketing tool. Why a seller had the wrong price in the first place? Well, maybe they're unrealistic to begin with. Maybe their agent just advised them as to the wrong price when they did their market analysis, right? The, if you're priced right, then you should be getting uh, showings very often. And we say two showings a week and you should be getting you should be seeing an offer about one offer a month. If not, then likely you're overpriced. There are exceptions to that. For example, if you're in the luxury market, right? So you want to make sure that you are priced correctly. Now, the number two reason why a property doesn't sell is the agent. Believe me, I've sold a lot of property that were previously listed with other agents at the same price, right? Um, when you hire an agent, they have two responsibilities is number one, to bring as many buyers as possible into the home. And their second job is to be persistent enough and persuasive enough with the buyer after they've seen the home to have them write up an offer. I know some sellers may think, well, if a property is on MLS, that's all you really need, right? Why does the choice of agent matter? But sellers who are experienced, sellers who have sold four or five homes in their lifetime, they understand that the choice of agent is absolutely critical. There are 14 things that me and my staff do personally that can make a big difference in generating the right buyer. Um, as well, I mean, something which I always brainstorm with my sellers at the listing presentation and afterwards is, okay, who is the buyer at 123 Main Street, right? And then me and my admin, we really, really think about it. So we think, where is this buyer? Where are they going to come from? And then the third reason why a property doesn't sell is accessibility, meaning how easy is it for the agent to get into the property and show it to their buyer? The ideal scenario is when a house is empty and it's on lockbox. It's just so simple. The agents can book the appointments with short notice and get into the property, right? Um, very often a property is occupied by a tenant or a renter and they're not permitting any showings or they want showings that'll, you know, with, they want 24 hours notice, which is okay, right? But the ideal scenario again is when the agent can book the appointment with very short notice and get right in, right? And then there's the scenario which sometimes the seller wants both agents present during the showing appointment. Like the seller will request that the listing agent is there as, as well. Now this can create complications because firstly, it has to work with all of our schedules, right? And secondly, the buyer and their buyer's agent typically don't like when the listing agent is present. They can't be open with each other and so forth. But hey, if a seller wants me to do it, I will very often do it. I really, really hope all this information was helpful, right? If you're considering buying, selling, investing, or even if you have questions, I'd love to hear from you. My direct line is 416-671-5218 or email, text, whatever's best. Um, I love comments. I love feedback. Don't forget to click like, subscribe if you want to see more. And hey, if you can think of any, anyone else that may find this information helpful, just forward the link over to them or forward the email and I will look forward to seeing you next time.